Hi Sloths, and welcome to what may be the final episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Now we've got a picture right here that I don't remember us getting. What was it? Um, hello? Where is it? Oh! Okay, so before I end of the video, I'm pretty sure we didn't have this picture in the last video but I, I kind of just wanted to like exit the game for a minute and then restart it so we could have you know like the nice uh, the nice boot up screen or whatever you want to call it but this is artwork drawn by Satchley to celebrate Monica's birthday in 2019 and the main character's hand there I think it is uh, acquisition procedure finish all of the side stories except we don't have all the side stories done. Now, as you can see right here in the settings, we've got 98% completion and we are still missing um, one poem, two CGs and two sketches. And in side stories, once we finished uh, the main six, both both parts of the, the main six, we got a new story, which is equals. So the plan for this episode, this finale, is to play equals, and then I'm just gonna quickly run through the rest, uh, not the rest, the, um, the base game once again, so we can see what the true good ending is supposed uh, is supposed to be like and then we can have a quick look at the pictures that we get from that so let's do it begin this side story for the last time yes okay okay everyone wow that's loud I need to turn that down we're going to be taking a break from the usual activities today. I was thinking since people are starting to talk about the festival, it's a good time for us to go over the general direction of the club and all that. I think it'll help us figure out what to do for the festival, you know? Oh, Syria and I already came up with a really good plan. Really? For the festival? Yeah, so my plan is this, okay? You and Yuri collect information ahead of time on which clubs and classes are doing food booths. Then we make, uh, then we take a map and plan the most efficient route so we can get most of them before the lines get too long. Hey, that was that has nothing to do with the club. Well, you have to let me finish. All right, fine, go ahead. Right, so basically we get all the food we can. Then we come back here and we all eat together. That's all. <laughs> wow, I got tricked twice by the same joke. Boo, don't be a hater. It's not like you can come up with anything better. Look, even Yuri was thinking about it. No, I wasn't. I would really prefer to do something literature related. Uh, we can eat together anytime. The festival is a unique opportunity. Besides, it's been quite a while since we've seen any new interest in the club. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. We really get uh, we really get a shot at showing people what the literature club is all about. I'll tell you what, we can do both, right? We'll make time for your food mission and still put together a pub public event. I actually really want to see what the uh, how this all would have turned out if Monica didn't go on a little rampage. It would be really cool. Maybe it's like a sequel story or a spin-off. I don't know. Oh my gosh, yes. I was just joking, but that's a really good idea. Well, I'm glad that's settled. I think the question is how to come up with an event that demonstrates everything you can get out of the literature club. Well, that's kind of tough because everyone gets something different out of the club. Okay, how about this? Let's go around and have each of us uh, talk about what we've gotten out of the club so far. 
That could really help us figure out what kind of reputation we want to build. Yeah, that's too embarrassing. Aw, oh, but you'd have so much to talk about. That's exactly why. And I'm sure Natsuki feels the same way. Well, maybe, but I didn't plan on arguing against it or anything. I mean, it's the literature club. We talk about that stuff together, right? And the only way to get more comfortable with it is to suck it up and do it. Oh, you're not wrong. I'm sorry for being resistant. It's not good to say suck it up because it sounds like their feelings don't matter. Right, my bad. It's just a habit I need to break. Oh, it's all coming full circle about everything. Well, anyway, who's gonna start? I'll start. I wasn't the first to join after all. <laughs> what if that be me? No, oh, I wanna go first. Fine, fine. You can start, I don't mind. Yay! So. Gosh, it feels like so long ago. I think I joined because I wanted to have fun sharing poems with people. It seems like it would be a safe way to express myself, you know? Like, if it's just a poem that uh, then I can share it without feeling like I'm burdening everyone with my problems. And I thought it would be a really good way to get uh, to know other people too. So yeah, I was really surprised when I walked in and it was just Monica. And she was sleeping. <laughs> Don't remind me of that, oh gosh. Yeah, but it seemed like so much fun to help start a new club. Especially since writing helped me so much. I wanted to see if it helped. Uh, I wanted to see it help other people too. But it ended up being me who was inspired. Cause I remember feeling like Monica was just so sweet and mature, and that I could trust her with anything. It made me feel a lot less alone having someone who knew even the bad things about me. And at, the, and at that point, I knew the Literature Club was going to be special for a lot of people. I'm starting to get the feeling that the writer or the, the creators of this game all feel this way about each other. Like they have that kind of dynamic relationship where they've gotten to understand each other through things like game, develop, uh, game development and writing and art. So that's that. If that's true, if that's the case, then that just makes this game feel even more special, and it helps me to understand why the writing is the way that it is. So yeah, that's really nice. If that is the case, yeah, I felt the same way. It really helped to give the club a more cohesive vision. Yeah, and then Yuri joined, uh, but she was so different from us and Natsuki too. I think for Yuri it really helped me uh, helped for me to take the lead bef uh, before she was able to open up a little. But Natsuki was kind of the opposite, where she wasn't ready to get really close to someone really quickly. I never really thought about that sort of thing. I really feel like I've gotten better at understanding people's different needs. And that makes me really happy, because my friends are just the most important thing to me. And whatever new members we get, I want to help them in those ways too. I don't know if I would have continued coming to the club if it weren't for you. Really? Mm-hmm. I know it wasn't too long ago, but it hurts to think about my behaviour back then. I was really short-sighted. The only reason I came was to find others who were into fantasy. I suppose that was my idea of making friends with people. And I remember feeling uncomfortable because you and I have such different energy. I had such a specific idea of the kind of person I could be friends with. So when Sairi tried so hard to get to know me, I felt like I was just wasting her time. I think I was naive to assume that similar interests were the key component of friendship. I mean, the kind of are. Sairi and I were able to be friends because she always thinks about the needs of other people. That's something I never knew how to do, or even thought to do. But I stayed in the club thanks to that, and I was starting, tr uh, and I started trying as hard as I could to understand people better. 
you really went above and beyond when I uh, when it came to that. I was just super impressed. Well, I always hated that I didn't know how to behave like a person who is easily liked by others, like the two of you can. And because of that, I spent so much time thinking about my own behaviour and all the wrong things I said. But the whole time, I should have been thinking about other people instead, not myself. Once I started doing that, I was able to make friends with everyone else. Oh, also, I discovered that sometimes I'm a better communicator when I take the time to write rather than speak. It's so strange the way things turned out. It's so far different from anything I ever would have expected. But I'm happy. I suppose we don't always know what we really need. Oh my gosh, you're so cute that I'm going to throw up. Ew, sorry, calm down. It's gross. Okay, please don't do that, Sayori. <laughs> Besides, I'm not cute. Hey, isn't that my line? <laughs> oh. Well, for me, it's actually true, so... What are you saying? Nothing. I finished my part, so somebody else take their turn. <laughs> my heart. Sayori, take some deep breaths. Okay, fine. I'll go. Yuri, I can't believe you were complaining about doing this and still went before me. What a show off. I was just following following up on Sayori. It was the easiest way to get it over with. Besides, you left out the most important thing that you got out of this club. I did? Yeah, a regular supply of your favourite cupcakes. <laughs> oh no, I forgot that too. I'm a traitor to the cupcake queen. <laughs> Neither are you, uh, neither of you are forgiven. Looks like only Monica will be getting cupcakes next time. No! I can't eat that many cupcakes. Yeah, true. Only Yori can. Hey! <laughs> well, anyway, I'm just putting off talking. It's kind of hard to talk about this stuff. But I guess what it comes down to is that I'm in a much better place mentally than I was when I first joined. And that's because everyone helped me realise that I had some really toxic friendships going on outside the club. It was honestly a really painful thing to go through, having to cut them out. It still hurts to think about. I'm sorry Natsuki. It's fine. I knew it was for the best, and I was right. I guess for me it's all about feelings. I was only ever ridiculed for having feelings, so I thought the right thing to do was ju to just ignore them. It took me a really long time to realise that it's not really how things are supposed to work. And I guess that's thanks to everyone who took the time to respect my feelings, even when I was being like, the biggest jerk. I'm really sorry for being such a jerk to everyone. I was really the worst. Natsuki's voice chokes a little. We love you, Natsuki. I just hate that I was like that. Everyone did so much for me and I could never do anything in return. That's not true. Not ski. You've done a lot uh, more than you think. This club really wouldn't have been the same without you. I mean that. Remember how judgmental I was when you first showed up? It was like I couldn't accept anything other than my own idea of what a literature club was supposed to be. Apparently, that was more important to me than the opportunity to bring you some happiness. You really taught me that anything that makes someone happy is worthy of respect. You even inspired me to start playing the piano. That's something that means a whole lot to me. So, there's no need to put yourself down. Okay. Natsuki wipes her eyes. You helped me a lot too. It's so much fun to have you around. And you helped me become a better person. Having a problem doesn't make you needy or inconvenient. It means that there's something that needs to be better for you, and you always deserve that. I agree. Seeing us have some of the same struggles made me a better person as well. I wouldn't want to change anything about our time here. I don't think any of us would. I'm sorry I got all dramatic again. That's all I wanted to say, so Monica can go now. There's no need to apologise. It was something I wanted to talk about anyway, because it made a big difference for me. 
I was always such a strict perfectionist who never took enough time to believe in the best of other people. But everyone kept proving me wrong. I made the mistake multiple times thinking that my way was the best for everyone. Or thinking that I was needed to solve other people's problems. But I think being a leader means that you have to acknowledge that you're not perfect and that the best thing for you to do is to help guide people rather than to do everything for them. We're all good people. We're all equals, which is the name of the story. Yeah, Red Bull. I think that's the most important thing I've gotten out of the club. Realising uh, what that really means. Sairi, what are you doing? I just thought that we should be writing some of these things down. Things about the club that are valuable to us. With a piece of chalk in her hand, Sairi writes the word trust on the chalkboard. Are these going to be all the, uh, the, the names of the side stories? This is because you showed me that I could trust you with everything about me, not just my good side. Suddenly Yori takes a piece of chalk as well. She writes, understanding it is going to be all the names of the uh, stories. Side stories. I, I owe a lot of gratitude to everyone who took the time to understand me. Even though it was so difficult for me to express myself. Hmm, in that case, Monica takes a piece of chalk as well and writes down the word respect. I always thought I was a respectful person, but it took the club for me to realise that there was more to it than I thought, and I'm a better person because of it. I have another one. Sayori writes balance. Sometimes people want different things out of a friendship, or they need time before they're ready to become close. So it's important to keep things balanced between you and the other person. That reminds me. Yuri writes reflection. I've always been a reflective person, but most of it has been nothing more than hating myself for all the things I thought I did wrong. Once I started feeling, uh, started reflecting on other people, and not just myself, a lot of things changed, uh, changed for me. So I think that's the most important one for me. That's great. We have a whole list of things now. Suddenly, everyone turns to look at Natsuki. Well, everyone took all the chalk. Don't look at me like that. Jeez. You could have just asked. Monica hands her piece of chalk to Natsuki. Then Natsuki sighs and writes, self-love. I don't know how far I've gotten with it yet. But it feels like things are at least on the right track. So there. That's my contribution. Together, everyone stares at the words on the board. Wasn't this club supposed to be about literature? It is. We still do a lot of literature. Friendship and literature. Doki Doki Friendship and Literature Club. Doki Doki Friendship and Literature Club Plus. Okay, that's going a bit too far. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Friendship and Literature. Natsuki and Yuri gently nod as well. Hey. Let's all take a picture together. Oh, is this going to be another CG? We don't have one yet, right? Hey, you're right. Make sure you send it to me after. Wait, can I brush my hair first or something? Oh, you're fine. You already have the best hair out of all of us. I mean, Monica has some pretty nice hair and some pretty cute bows. But then again, just uh, there's something about people with long hair that I really like. I like long hair. Long hair is great. And it's purple, which is also my favourite colour. And it's dark purple, which is sort of like my favourite shade. I mean, her her hair isn't like my actual favourite shade, but I really like dark purple. So, yeah. Mm. Everyone get together. I can't fit you all in. Okay. Okay, everyone. Ready? And click. Do we get to see it? No! I'm guessing we get to see it uh, after the side story in the, uh, the gallery or whatever it's called. I'm really glad we talked about this stuff. It's easy to forget how far we've come 
with only four members. Yeah, I have so many happy thoughts right now. I'm getting some really good inspiration for a poet. You know, I feel the same way. I kind of want to get some writing done. Me too. I think I would like that as well. Everyone's looking at me again. I'll do it too, but I might not feel like sharing it. That's okay. The four members of the literature club disperse and return to their desks, each equipping themselves with a pen. Natsuki and Yuri give each other a quick glance, then start writing immediately. Sayuri stretches, then does the same. But Monica is left tapping her pen against the paper, unsure of where to start. Just move your hand, Monica mouths to herself. Write the way into your heart. Her mind full of thoughts, memories and inspiration, Monica navigates past her mental barriers and begins to write. It doesn't matter what, just that it's something new. Ooh, what the hell is going on there? That was an awkward fade. Oh, is this all the backgrounds? Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. I know this isn't like the end end of the game because we still have a little bit uh, left to have a look at. But I want to speak about it kind of now that this game is amazing. It's horrifying and terrifying. It's a... Okay, Yori, you're kind of a little bit twitchy there. It's adorable and cutesy. It's really, really well written. It's emotional. And it's dark. And... I just can't get enough of it. Sure, it's a big damper on uh, anyone's mental health if we're going uh, through a lot of uh, crap and they're really struggling. Like me, I had to take a break um, like twice, I think it was, just to sort myself out because there's some parts of this game that really do mess with your head, especially if you have the unfortunate circumstances of experiencing anything even remotely similar to uh, stuff that happens either in the base game or even in the side stories. It's difficult. But at the same time, as much as I was dreading coming back to this series, because obviously I played the original uh, version of this game before, I am very glad that I made myself thank you dear player for enjoying our story of friendship and literature i'm very glad that i managed to force myself to come back and play this game made with love by team salvato and serenity forge whoever they are oh so that's a cg i really like it oh Okay, so music, what did we just get? Uh, I don't know which, stories of friendship and literature. Okay, so that's like, I'm sure we've already got a similar song for that. I don't know where, what other song that is. But it's, there's a similar song to that in, in the game somewhere. I can't remember which one it is. Um, still missing the last poem, which we're going to get shortly. Wait, we've got two versions of it? Everyone say cheese. Oh, that's cute. Let's set that as our wallpaper. And okay, now everyone make a funny face. <laughs> okay, so... Sari looks goofy as all hell. Monica just looks like a complete and utter nutcase. Uh, that's kind of cute for Natsuki, I guess. And 
for Yuri, she's that's just still adorable. She's trying to make a mustache with her hair. And I have long hair, so I kind of sometimes do that as well. Uh, just for the walls. <laughs> for the walls. But yeah, that, that's really nice. Um, but we're still missing these two sketches. And what do we have left? Uh, the last things that we have is Breakthrough, Achieve 100% Data Collection. And we've still got a hidden achievement left. Of which I don't know what that might be. Maybe that's for getting the, the true ending. So, settings, 99%. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back to us actually seeing the truer ending of the game. So, I'll be back in a moment. What did we just set, uh, Miss Bear? There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for spending so much time with us all. You worked so hard to make each and every one of us happy. You comforted us through our hard times. And you helped us all get along with each other. Do you get it, Sloth? Because I'm president now, I understand everything. You really didn't want to miss a single thing in this game, did you? We got the good ending, yes! You saved and loaded so many times just to make sure you could spend time with everyone. Only someone who truly cares about the Literature Club would go that far. But all along, that's all I ever wanted. For everyone to be happy and care about each other. It's kind of sad, you know. After all you've done for us, there isn't much I can do for you in return. We've already reached the end of the game. So, this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Thank you for letting me play it. I'm going to miss you, Sloth. Aww. Come visit sometime, okay? Maybe in the sequel, because I hear they are making a sequel or a spin-off, I don't know. We'll always be here for you. We. We all love you. Aww. And then, it's your reality. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> Can we skip this? <laughs> not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you. Well, I I kind of just really, really hard on. So, as much as I love this song, and I know you're kind of supposed to just let this song play out, but I've already had copyright problems with this already, so I'm just gonna talk over it this time and say my piece on this game. I mean, I've already mentioned it before, how brilliant this game is. And I absolutely adore it. It's terrifying at the same time as adorable and also at the same time as emotional and it's really well written. And I feel like the, um, the developers have a similar dynamic of understanding each other. Uh, like these characters do and I think that's how they've been able to write these characters and the game so well. Of course it could just be the fact that they're really really good at developing games and writing stories and none of these characters have anything even in common interest with any of the developers of or writers of this game. Um, oh there we go. Uh, what you'll see in this credits is that all of our, all these CGs are actually going to be in colour and Monica's not going to delete them. So that's really nice. Um, I did this game as a punishment for dying like 30 odd times in Five Nights at Freddy's and of course it was a bit of a punishment uh, to sit through the anxieties, the depression, and the obvious brutal suicide scenes multiple times. So that part of it was definitely a, um, uh, what's it called, a punishment for myself. Um, but you know what, I'm really glad I came back to this game anyway. 
I was originally going to do it anyway at some point, either on my own time or as a let's play, but I kind of just put it in into my let's play thing at least on the off chance that I might just play it anyway. Uh, and I ended up doing that and I just think this game, it needs more. There's so much potential for this game and these characters and they definitely did a really good job of doing that in the, the, this remake where they included side stories. I just wish there was just a little bit more. But oh well, it's over. We got it. We got it, yes. To the special player who received this special ending. For years I have been enamoured by the ability of visual novels and games in general to tell stories in ways not possible using traditional media. Doki Doki Literature Club is my love letter to that. Games are an inter interactive art. Some let you explore new worlds, some challenge your mind in brand new ways, some make you feel like a hero or a friend, even when life is hard on you. Some games are just plain fun, and that's okay too. Everyone likes different kinds of games. People who enjoy dating sims may have a heightened empathy for fictional characters, or they might be experiencing feelings that life has not been kind enough to offer them. If they are enjoying themselves, then that's all that matters. That goes for shooting games, casual games, sandbox games, anything. Preferences are preferences, and our differences are the reason we have a thriving video game industry. My own favourite games have always been ones that challenge the status quo. Even if not a masterpiece, any game that attempts something wildly different may earn a special place in my heart. Anything that further pushes the limitless bounds uh, of interactive media. I extend my gratitude to all those who have taken the time to achieve full completion. I hope you enjoyed playing it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for being a part of my literature club. Love, Dan Salvato. And... Okay. Pictures. There's the, uh, the, the special gratitude from Dan Salvato there. Then we have these sketches. First concept sketch of the DDLC uh, chibis used in the poem minigame. And uh, a collection of each of the characters' original sketches before being outlined in co and coloured in. Natsuki's head angle was changed to make her pose more natural and candid rather than striking a model-like pose. Uh, I don't know which, what to set this, this to. <laughs> um, I guess let's set the wallpaper to this. And then we've got mail as well. Paula Miner says, let's move on. We need to have a meeting about shifting our focus a little bit. We've reset the M1 how many times now? For real, we've definitely definitely collected as much data as we can from it at this point. We just need to work with what we have and try to increase the stability of our connection to the M2. We've obviously gotten spoiled by the ease of access that the M1 offers us, but it's just unrealistic for someone in real life to be granted a level of elevation even close to monitor kernel access or mon ke for short. If we can't establish a stable connection to the M2, then how can we uh, expect to get anywhere when the same scenario inev inevitably occurs to our own universe? Anyway, thanks to Rose's work, we were able to acquire a few rudimentary logs. I have an idea on how to increase connection stability to the M2 while maintaining weak hypervisor access to everyone inside on an individual basis. Ironically, it has to do with something that they're building 
in their own VM. I'll go into detail in a more formal report, but some of the log files indicate attempts of their uh, there's indicate attempts of theirs to pull together the access potential of multiple individuals into a single parallel unit. It sounds ridiculous, but if they actually got, uh, get somewhere with it, then we might have a solid entry point that doesn't heavily intrude upon the VM. I'm going to spin up a read-only hypervisor that we can use to test different ideas like this. The elevation level will be set to monitor adjacent runtime level accent access. Marla? Is that what that's trying to say? Marla? Well, I don't know. The VM will just be named test VM for now. Although the parallel access unit they're building in the VM seems to be called Project Libertina. According to the few logs we have, we can change the name once we actually get a decent picture of it. Okay, and we've got a test VM? Is this a demo for the next game? Oh, you know what? Let's do it. Now we have 100% completion. Attempted to decode binary data. Okay. I wonder what this is going to be about. And I think it's like a a very brief demo or teaser for the next game because I know they're working on either like a sequel or a whatchamacallit I don't know to improve third eye potency by puberty the new something connection loss what the hell I speculated something I speculated to improve third eye potency by puberty the new summer or other uh, what? Wait, that's it? Oh. Okay. Okay. Nothing? Is that all? Okay, well, see ya. 